Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? This is your boy Leo coming at you with another video. And this this video is gonna be for legal issues and information technology class C841. In this class, I'm gonna kinda give you a brief synopsis of what I've noticed from the class, how I got through the class, and uh, any hints and tips just to kinda give you a heads up on what to expect in the class. So this class is gonna be something that I did after my uh, core one and core two classes, getting my certificate, it jumped me into this class. So this class is gonna be about laws inside of uh, cybersecurity and um, just legal information that you're gonna be learning. Um, so in this class itself, it's gonna be based on a um, you know pre-assessment. It's not gonna be an exam actually. So you're gonna be doing kind of a small kind of paper research um, you know, a little paper to uh, get through the class. So it's gonna be part of a two um, section assessment. So you're gonna have the first task. Once you complete and pass that task, you're, move, you're gonna move over to the second task. And then once you go ahead and pass that task, the class is over. This is not one of those classes where you have to go through the course material. So my opinion of what I did and what worked right off the bat, I didn't take very long in this class. I think I took like a week and a half to get it out of the way uh, and it's one of those classes that you can actually probably do even quicker if you actually spend a little more time on it um, but yeah I did kind of you know kind of took my time with it did a little bit of research first and then I kind of realized okay I think I can go ahead and tackle this so I spent um, pretty much every single day doing three two to three sections from that those tasks or um, you know or even sometimes two you know, and that's what I did. And sometimes in the morning, if I woke up early, you know, on Saturday or whatever, and none of the kids were, you know, up and about, I went ahead and just real quick knocked out, you know, an hour of writing. And like I said, you don't have to do, you know, like a a novel or nothing. You're doing small paragraphs, you know, if anything, just a paragraph per question. You know, just keep it simple. Don't go, you know, above and beyond. You don't really have to. But if you want, you can because it's going to kind of, um, put you in the rubric where you don't have, um, you know, work that's similar to others, you know what I'm saying? So that's something that, you know, um, you want to keep in mind that you, you can't get, your paper cannot be more than 30% similar to anything out there. So it's going to run it through and I'll let you know, you know, how much um, it is. But, um, you know, so far, I, I didn't have a problem on the first one. I think I had like 10 percent and on the second one i had three percent a lot of the stuff out there is going to be the same so you know it's going to happen don't don't feel bad about that you know if, as, long, as long as you keep it under 30 it can be 29 whatever it doesn't matter you're in the guidelines so that, that you're not going to be graded for that at all you're going to be graded for your work at that point so again it's going to be two parts task one you're going to get that done and then task two and what this is going to be about is going to be about a case study you're going to have a fictitious company that um, an auto report was done and you're given the findings of the auto report and all the information and then you have questions to go along with it explaining some of the things or some of the the methods or legal terms or um guidelines that you would recommend and you know to prevent this measure or you know you're you're you know it's kind of open you can kind of choose however you want to talk about something whatever you want to talk about um you can look up online a lot of these questions and see you know kind of how people structure their questions and their answers um you know just to give you an idea of a way to kind of all right well let me take that information and let me use a different term or similar and just rephrase it the way that I speak. You know, I speak a little, you know, too much at times. So I spoke too much in my writing, you know, which kind of pushed my paragraphs to longer amounts. But, you know, I, I felt comfortable because I felt like I got the message across, even though it takes me longer because I speak too much. So if you're good at... um you know, kind of getting everything under one, you know, professional thought, 
on paper, you're going to do great in this. For me, you know, I, I struggle with this part, but I did pass it on my first try, so I didn't have any any hiccups. So it just is kind of flexible, I, I want to say. Um, so the best information that I can give you on where to look for information is going to be by going into the course chatter. Once you're in the course chatter, you're going to have on the right side of the screen, you're going to have a bunch of information. You're going to have some folders you can download. Download all that stuff and look for everything. You're going to have the video walkthroughs that are going to give you a video of what to do per section. Like what do you, what do you need to do in this section? What do you expect? And then you have also inside your task on the you know main page where you go to submit the task, you're going to have your rubric there on what they expect. And that's also in the quick start guide. Um, that's a, that's a great start. You know, that's another document you're going to find once you go into the course chatter, you're going to be able to find that quick start guide and kind of read through the whole entire thing. And just to give you an understanding of what you're about to tackle. And then once you do that, there is the legal and privacy, um, paper, you know, you don't have to read it. You can read parts of it to be more well informed on a certain subject if you have to, or you can just Google it, you know, the subject and try to find different, you know, the same answer, but you know, from another source. Um, that's something else. If you do use a source, make sure that you add it. You know, they're cool. I didn't add any sources in my first one and I passed it, no problem. You know, the second one I did add a source. Um, but I didn't I don't know. I don't I don't know how you're supposed to add source. I'm not a professional at that at a source adding, so I, I try to just bypass that and just say things my way, you know, and basically take the information and just act like I'm talking out of my mouth about it. You know what I'm saying? And changing the words and saying the different ways. Um and then you're gonna have additional resources. So under additional resources, that's where you can use your template. There's gonna be two templates. You can use the presentation, the PowerPoint, or you can use the uh, Word document. I went with the Word document. I changed the name area there. I put my name. And then in every single section, I left the information in there for now. I wrote my, you know, my information to answer that question. And then I went through and removed all that, um, the, the stuff that was already pre-filled. I removed that. I left the title of what it was and but I removed all the all the guts and I put my answer and then I moved on to the next one and I did the same thing with every single question. I did the same thing with the two week task. So I just submitted the 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 part the part, you know, of the document that they wanted, you know, A one, B two and then the description and then my answers right underneath. So that's the way that I did it and it seemed to you know, get a passing grade. Again, this is something that even if you listen to the cohorts and that's something that you could do, just listen to the cohorts they have available. Um, you can probably find those on the main page. So you're gonna be able to find the cohorts under announcements in the main page. And if you click on those, even the, the instructor himself says that you don't need to do the, you know, the, the course material that you can kind of just jump right in and kind of fly, you know, so that's what I would do. You know, if you want to sit through the book and read all the laws and everything, you can definitely do that. And that's something that I do, you know, want to have. So I did download the book and I want to keep it handy just so I'm aware, you know, just to use in my personal life, you know, and, and you know, and work also um, just to double check on things. So I did keep that, you know, so make sure you keep that, that PDF because, you know, in the future, you ain't going to be able to have access to it. So all this stuff, download and keep. You know what I'm saying? So you can use them. So I don't understand these things 100%, but I'm going to go back and I'm going to do my own research, you know, just to be, you know, be well, more, you know, more well informed. Um, again, this is a class that you can probably knock out in a week, two weeks, depending on how quick they um, grade your stuff. But um, you can submit back to back stuff and submit it to them. And, you know, it takes them about four days to get back to you. So you know you can kind of take that with a grain of salt again it took me about almost two weeks to complete this class and i'm going to go ahead and move on to the next class so this is going to be um the second class that i completed already now in a month so we're moving on to another class now it's going to be the network plus 
and that's going to come with another certificate for CompTIA. So that's going to be a more challenging class, but I'm getting started at, on that, and I'm actually doing that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and bounce. I'm going to get back to my next class. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys, you know, just help somebody. If it does, leave me a like, comment, subscribe. See you guys.